very good morning to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. This is Power Talk. Well, today it is a very fantastic Thursday, the 29th of uh, April 2021. My name is Ram Maguko. As always, it's a pleasure having you stick around this particular program. Today we have a lot in store for you. When it comes to this particular show, remember we come to you each and every Thursday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. on the I repeat of this particular program every Thursday from 10 p.m. Very good morning to you. The hashtag as always is Power Talk Show on Twitter. Today our conversation is about a man's ego. Understanding a man's ego. What is it about a man's ego that turns people off? When it comes to relationships, does a man's ego come in the way? How can a man prevent his ego from getting in the way of the relationship? Do men need to learn about controlling their ego? Do men need to apologize more? What is it that turns you off when it comes to a man's ego? Today we want to understand what a man's ego is all about from a man's perspective. That's right. Today, the conversation that we are going to have, I shall I am joined by Samuel Fuller. He is a psychology, he is a pastor and a counselor and a relationship expert. Karubusana. I'm also joined to my extreme left by none other than the man himself, Smart Joker, a comedian. Karibu sana Smart Joker. Asante. Karibu sana. Jesema titles zangu zote. Mzemo ya pastor, psychologist. Ebu tuambia zote tusikia leo. Mimi ni the sweet joking, smooth smiling. Smart Joker kutoka Kibra, lawyer wa Tim Mavisi. With a baby face, food psychologist. Hizo wero nigeshika zote baba hizo zote. CEO, yani chicken engineering officer. Food psychologist ni doninio? Food psychologist. Yani ni mutu mwenye wana study psychology ya chakula. The hashtag always is part of show. The hashtag at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. Make sure that you give us your take in regards to this. What is it that amounts uh, that men need to address when it comes to their ego? Does it come in the way? Well, most ladies say that they don't understand a man's ego. They say that we can't, they can't understand how it works, and that's why people get to disagreements. Today, let's talk about it with the men. Tuelewane. Kama wanaume, shida yetu ni nini? Shida yiko wapi ni nini na tusumbua that you can't just allow things to just pass because of your ego. Nasema hii, I must deal with it perpendicularly. The hashtag is Power Talk Show. At Ramaguko, at Y254 Channel. Gentlemen, to answer your conversation, Sasa. Yes. Let me start with you, Afula. Yes. When a man's ego is put to the test, what is it that it is that people need to understand about a man's ego that the society doesn't really understand and what is it that is wrong particularly that is there in a man's ego uh, you see a man's ego is uh, the way a man sees through the lens of life mm -hmm. how a man perceives himself what a man thinks of himself that is the ego of a man mm -hmm. so many people fail to understand a man basing on how a man understands himself na yeye imeletwa due to culture and up venye mtu amelelewa pia yes it, it, it is a uh, inaletwa in pia venye background venye msa amelelewa venye msa ame grow mm -hmm. like as a man unaweza kuwa me grow kiona like your, your dad doing something you learn from your father you you've seen men in your you know in your culture mm. handling themselves in a way so when they grow what what you grow hivo they know this is how a man should be handled so ikifika mahali penye msana anaona ni kama like uh, it is being otherwise it mm. becomes a problem for the man mm. because he's trying to protect his ego do women understand this particular phenomenon let me just <laughs> <laughs> It becomes a problem to many women, especially, you see, also how a woman is brought up. Huh. Like, there are, there are women that when, when we grow up, like, for example, a man should be handled in a certain dimension. Mm. Like, there are things a man should not do. There are things a woman should, like, there are women that say, like, Mimi, you can't shout, raise your voice at me. Mm. And there are men that have grown knowing if you have to address a woman and if a woman has to respect you, you must raise your voice. Lazimo ngurume. Lazimo ngurume. Na manomke ngurume unasema woman, where I come from. <laughs> where I come from. People, people don't, don't do this. Women don't do that. Yes. That's my joker. Yes. Ono laji kwa hii kiburi ya wanaume, the pride of a man. Um, 
ni jinsi gani wanawake wanaweza wanaweza handle mwanaume wewe we, ukidila mwanamke ungependa mwanamke aku handle aje kama mwanaume mimi mwanamke inafaa tu ane handle vile niko vile niko <coughs> kwanza akiingia kwa maisha yangu si nimempea menu <coughs> <coughs> Remember menu requirements yeah the do's and the don'ts uh-huh. iso the do's and the don'ts iso ndio zenye zina mukai vile anafanya <laughs> ya kwanza nimemwambia mimi natoka western uh-huh. inafaa enda research ajue western men how do they behave how do they talk how do they eat how do they eat au walikuwa na ngoja so akisha research about that eh? from the first uh, nini uh, statement i come from western akisha mm-hmm. start from that akisingatia vile nimemwandikia hapo kwa menu kutwa tudogo sasa hapo mm-hmm. chini lakini wewe si ulishamchagua ulisema huyu ndo mwanamke mwenye mimi nataka yes nilimchagua nikamleta nikampa menu aipitie akishapitia afanye yenye nimeandika hapo akifanya hivyo hatu utakorofisha na kama kuna zile ambazo hataki kwa sababu yeye anasema for example mwanamke anasema i cannot cook as long as i know we are both working smart joker wewe umeenda show Mm-hmm. umefanya kazi vizuri karudi usiku yeye pia ameenda job akarudi usiku anasema we not cook for you bas umesema vizuri sasa hiyo ya i cannot cook because nimeenda kazi nimerudi na wewe pia umeenda kazi hiyo umeenda umerudi tumechoka wote that is the problem that is the problem kali child ame amepewa virudu virutubishi vingine kutoka sideways government imemwangalia sana eh, u, 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 society usijui women what imemwingilia bodies nyingi organizations zimeweka macho masikio kwa huyo girl child eh? yeah. ndio inafanya sasa mwanaume uh, anakumbuka vizuri ni nini niliambiwa na babu yangu <laughs> 1954 ni apply hapa ndio huyu mwanamke anisikiliza when a man is put on the spot in the house yes. as a woman umebeba bwana yako mimi sipiki i want i want it does that because many people may not know whether it does or not okay. can it affect a man's ego umemwambia kwamba mimi sita kupikia mm-hmm. jipikie wewe mwenyewe sote si tunaleta bills kwa nyumba sote si tunalipa bills sote tunafanya kazi jipikie kama ni chakula enda ujitafutie can that affect a man's ego it surely will in a great way because no man wants to marry another man no man wants to date another man mm-hmm. so if you are if you are coming into my life does not make my life better in any way ah why should i have in my life the question is okay you need a woman you need yeah you need a woman to cook and, for you and you see the roles of a woman are properly spelled in the society for example maybe say cooking washing of utensils uh, you don't expect a man i'm a, I'm a, I'm say a man has a woman uh. in his life and in his house uh. and it's the man that is waking up in the morning uh. to wash utensils Okay. So the roles of a woman they are very clear in society. Hmm. The roles of a woman are very clear in society. The roles of a man are very clear in society. So no man will want to stay or, or you know to 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 have a woman in his life hmm. that does not you know know her roles. What is it if a man just decides to say hey you went to work i also went to work nitakupikia leo babe ni mbaya that one from where we come from <laughs> from where we come from it doesn't work that way actually maybe talk of a modern day woman maybe talk of a modern day woman but one thing you must we must all agree ram is that uh, when you date a woman or when you marry a woman you're not just dating or marrying that woman uh-huh. you are dating and marrying the people that raised that woman the whole family yes when you are dating a man you are dating the people that raised that man 
So if in society, how the man was raised, he was raised knowing that, you know, these, there are, there are roles of a woman. Like, for example, you know, uh, uh, let me use uh, an example of where I come from. Mm. Where I come from, you see, what is expected of a woman is that when a woman wakes up in the morning, she will single-handedly prepare breakfast. One, clean the kitchen. Prepare breakfast. After preparing breakfast, clean, wash, wash clothes, wash utensils. After there, you go, you know, fetch, after kuni, come preparing lunch. Th those are the roles of a woman. But one woman and be that here in the jikoni. Sasa hiyo in a corner. So, what do you think? I'm going to go to the jikoni. I'm going to Mm. Iko shida, shida iko api? Ameharibu kabisa. Kwa nini na umu nyewe, you know very well, yeah. you, you can cook, yeah. you can wash the utensils, you can yeah. take care of the household yeah. chores. Yeah. So if a woman tells you, yeah. I won't cook. Akini ambi hivyo, kama tunadate, yaani mi nikiwa bachelor, yeah. akini ambi hivyo, ni zawa I will cook. Because I don't owe her anything. And your wife, and share your na bibi, kama ni bibi yako. But sasa ni wife yangu. Hmm. <laughs> Apike tu. Kwanza, akiniambia ni pike, ni makosa. But mi mwenye ni kijitole. Yes. Niende ni pike. Yeah. Trust me. Atakula yo siku, ata ukali, ata pomoa korokoro ine. <laughs> na hajui. Unanipata. Because, <laughs> nimefanya kwa hiari. Yes. Nimesema, ah, huyu sweetheart wangu. Hmm. Acha leo, ni muentice. Ni mufuraishe na hii ABCD. Hmm. I have another thing he has spoken about. Mm. Sai tumekuwa wazuri wanaume tumenunua hizi vifaa vya kupika hizi gas kuka. Mm. Siko na meko 4 hata 5. Mm -hmm. I gas ikiisha unaweza kuna kuka nyingine hapo kando. So kwanza wacha ni kurekebisha. Mm. Hakuna eti single handed ili aanze na kuvagia dia pika. Mm. Ni aende aweke breakfast chai kwa meko moja ukali kwa meko ingine hapo mboka kwa meko ingine alafu wakati sinaiva anaosha diona chumeko inakuanga karibu na sink alafu wakisha maliza kuprepare za vitu ni kukuletea breakfast because vyombo vimengara hakusavu chai ladies do you, do you agree with what, what he is saying Weka kila kitu kwa stove. Kwa yeah. upiko. Zote. <laughs> yes. Ukiosha, una, <laughs> yeah. unangalia yu ya vajika chikodi. In fact, that is how I usually teach my wife to do things simultaneously. Yeah. Hey, Unatandika vitu, ta, 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 ta. Mume maliza njini ndawa mumeva, munaenda joke. But in this, in this current society yes. that we are in, where people look for gender equity and gender uh -huh. equality, yeah. yu itazekana? Shita. <laughs> I was a kani. Musijana ameambiwa, you have rights. Mm -hmm. You have a right to, be, to do what? You have a right, you should not be uh, shouted at, you should not be... So, mwenye ni kama wanaume, wanawake hawa tuwelewi, is it that men are not understood? Yes. Men are not understood, uh, are not understood. And uh, as such, that is why these women empowerment, uh, in as much as Nasa idea, but the, zina, 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 aribu the girl child in a way. How? Like, for example, you saw, there are things a woman, a, a man will do at will, at his own will. I don't know if you have to discuss, like, I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Those ones, they don't work. Kuna vitu manaume atafanya kwa ihari kwa kupenda kwake. Manama kia mwa kupika that day ni kwa ihari. Not like, not like, oh, leo bebo ni unapika. And inakuwa hivo. It doesn't work that. Na yu time table organizer na time table minasema ti leo ueno unapika, kesho minu unapika. No, that one no. Kuna kama ni kupika manaume anapika kwa ihari, akiamua. If it's once in a month, fine, ni kwa ihari yake. If it's once in a year. In fact, yata hiyo time ute wifi kusikika kwa nyumba. Hata hiyo discussion na wifi ya wifi isikike siku moja kwa hiyo nyumba. Isi vitu ni automatic. And I'm telling you, ukinyamazia tu mwanaume, usipo push mwanaume kwa ukuta. Atakupikia kwa wiki hata maratano. Kama ya ameamua. Na utashanga. Kama ameamua. Yes. And, I'm sorry for cutting you. And? And, 
hii women empowerment mm -hmm. kama wanaweza fix tu mahali wale watu kwa society huitwa kungwi si kama unawatambua kungwi mm -hmm. wale watu wa kufundisha wasichana ama vijana maadili mema mm -hmm. wakati wanakaribia kuingia ndoa yes, yes. Hey. Yes. hao watu kama wanaweza wa fix ndani kwa hiyo hizo oh, empowerment, empowerment programs zao mm -hmm. inaweza kuwa poa sana mm -hmm. umewahi umewahi fika mahali wewe ukasema wow huyu msichana mjikenda i wish i, I wish angekuwa ndio bibi yangu <laughs> Mwaji uliza swali kama hili. Hapana. <laughs> Sijafika hiyo <Sijafika. laughs> <Sijafika> level. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, eh, then how you interact now? Yeah. Teremuka cost. Ah. Specific ladies kuna behavior zao tu kwa kwa mwanaume. Yaani you want men uh, uh, you want a woman mwenye atakuja akutengeneze vizuri chakula andaye kwa meza na even unakufanya ufili kama wewe ni mwanaume. Yes, yes, na hata sitaki atiapige magoti ama ni na hiyo ya magoti. There is just a way kuja mwanamke ana ku address. Mhm. Mpaka ukimwangalia wewe unajiambia haki mimi mimi kuisha in in some cultures mtu anapiga magoti wafola umeona hizo mtu anapiga magoti anakuleta chakula anapiga magoti ana anapiga magoti na umeribu kichwa mwanaume you see the tragedy is ah mwanamke akipiga magoti na hiyo yumili haiko it's not from inside it it becomes dangerous hiyo 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 ni shida kwa sababu anza kuwa anapiga magoti maybe kama kuna wageni lakini venye ana kwa address mkiwa wawili It, 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 it's very different. I want us to be, we'll be giving different scenarios okay. um, as we continue with this conversation. Remember the hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and that Y254 channel. What do you think about it? A man's ego. How can it be addressed? What is it for, you know, that is in a man that we don't understand? Today, in the men's conference. <laughs> men's conference. <laughs> A man, men talk, or boy talk, whichever thing you want to call it. <laughs> we give our voices from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. We want to understand a man's ego. Let me get it from you, Wafula. Yes. Kila mwanaume akona ego. Ama wengine wakonayo na wengine hawana. Kwa nini wengine watu wanasema huyu amekaliwa sana? Na wengine wanasema huyu ndo anangurumwa kwa nyumba. Is it that men's ego are different in value? Kila mwanamume ako na ego. But there is a way that ego can be conquered. And this is one thing women must understand. Hmm. Every man, no matter whether they are from church or from the club where, <laughs> every man has an ego. Hata kama ni pastor. Iwe ameokoka ama jokoka. Iwe ameokoka ama jokoka ama ni nini. Kila mwanamume ako na ego. But it takes wisdom to conquer, to massage a man's ego. Should it be massaged in the first place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It should. It must. Unafo ipapase bizu. Yes. Na nini? Huyo kungwe. Hakiweza ingizu watu kwa empowerment programs. Kuisha. Na kama hayuko. Watu wameolewa. Nini wameowana. Wameanza kuishi maisha. Wataishi aje basi. It's that lady. Mwenye meshindu wa nae ego ya huyu. Aumbange rusa. Can I have a visit? Kwe to home. Nienda ni visit tu either mama mukwe wako ama mama mama yangu. You know what happened? For example, wife yangu. Akiniambia eh, smarty, sweetheart, nataka kwenda kutembea home kwenu. I know very well what she is going to do there. And one day tutakorovishana, alafu aniambie, I'm sorry. Hata mama yangu alikuwa ameniambia kuhusu this behavior yuko ameniambia niswahi kufanya mm -hmm. i'm sorry mm -hmm. that is how women should those are techniques to massage our ego haya kuna hii kuna hii jambo ambayo inafanyika giving different examples bado mwanamke anakuambia kwamba ona wanaume wenzako ah huyu amepata gari huyu ako na nyumba smart joker anaenda show pale anapata pesa wafula anaenda pale anapata sadaka pale <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Ona wanaume wenzako wanafanya bibi zao hii ananunulia bibi yake kitenge. Mm. Wewe ni mwanaume ina gani kufanya hivyo? 
sasa hiyo kwanza kukompea wanaume ndio kuharibu kabisa does it, ha- it, it harms the, the it, ego yes, of a man it, it really harms the ego of a man that is why i began by saying you see ego uh, 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 the will through which the, the responsibilities of a man are driven hmm. now when you begin comparing a man to another man You know men thrive well when you 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 appreciate their effort. Mm. Onelewa. Mtu mm. mwanaume akirudi nyumbani hata kama n- not much arudi nyumbani na a piece of bread mkate. Mm. Na ma, ma, maybe jirani amerudi nyumbani na, na maybe <laughs> pizza. Yes. <laughs> okay, you come kati na pizza gari ni busa na watu. So pizza. Ndio anapenda pizza. Huyu atasema unga ya ugali. <laughs> But there is a way you can push this man uh, into doing more by appreciating the piece of uh, the, the piece of bread amekuja nayo nyumbani. Mm. Kulio kwanza kumcompare kumuuliza wanaume wengine wanarudi na pizza, wanaume wengine wanaendesha magari aina fulani. Wewe unafanya nini? Wewe unafanya nini? Let me read a few comments on on, on Facebook. Okay. Uh Emma Jerry anasema men's ego good topic the ladies are good at multitasking. I do that. I'm also a fast hand. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mwanaume hizi multitask. <laughs> Tutakuja hiyo man hiyo hiyo baadaye. Anasema that tune in I miss uh, the set ram good job women respond to what they are given by men give me give me a sperm and i give you a child uh-huh. give me 200 you get a good uh, dinner we incubate what we are given and we give back a good measure with ego or with no ego it's a good uh, it, it's good to be careful what you give a woman i can kneel but i but if only i'm treated well uh-huh. by my man so they can they, they can kneel uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> they, they Let's take a short break. Yeah. We'll be back in a bit. Keep it right to the pop out continues after this break. Don't go too far. This is about a man's ego. Should I go happy? Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. This is Power Talk. As always, we value your feedback. Keep commenting and keep texting. If you're just joining us, you're just in time for the next and last part of this conversation. It's about understanding a man's ego. What is it that a man's ego has that needs to be put down? Ni moto inafai zimwe. The hashtag as always is Power Talk Show at Ram Aguko and at Y254 Channel. My name is Ram Aguko. If you're just joining us, uh, stick around for this and much more. I'm um, with uh, uh, Smart Joker and uh, Sami Wafula uh, discussing this particular uh, conversation, a man's ego from a man's perspective. How do men understand their own ego? Do, do, do we understand ourselves? Yeah. And uh, let me just uh, sample a few of your uh, th- comments on Facebook. Those who are watching, tell us where you're watching us from. As we continue, I shall read them. Aidi Esther uh, is, thank you very much for watching, Aidi. Uh, I'm seeing Joe Karis Wajuja. And I'm uh, watching from Ruiru Murera. Tuned in, sana. Show Iko Fire. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I'm seeing uh, Brayo and Asema. Thank you for uh, uh, tuned in. I'm seeing uh, Kigo Wanji here. Uh, Dennis Wa Mukwajit. Uh? Mukujit, uh, Morris Jacob Makoha, I'm seeing uh, Danny Dan, thank you so much. I'm seeing Ram Dari, oh, someone's called Ram here, yeah. okay. King Baba, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Donna, Derek, uh, uh, and uh, Supu Yachapo. <laughs> so, we were talking about comparison. When a man is compared to another person, you know, what are the limitations? Is it okay to compare someone um, and, and, and it ends up, you know, um, healthy? Can you say that you can compare another, your, your man with someone else in a healthy way to challenge them? Or should it just not happen? Usijaribu kufanyivo. Uli, uh, uh, kwako. Eh, hey, your comparison ni dangerous. Hata kama ni positively. So hata me, kama ni positively. Eh, hey, hata kama ni positively ni dangerous. Eh, yeah. mm-hmm. ati wife yangu sasa kwa hapa seme. Wana Dr. Kingori, hako kwa TV. Mm. Na wewe siuni TV yoyote enye huko. Very dangerous. It will spoil something. Ineza vunja nyumba? Yes, ineza vunja. Una feeling kama hapo kwa nyumba yako ni kwa jela penye unamshua na cabbage na priest pri, askari wa jela na viboko. So since you want somewhere where 
ni kama vacuum hautingizwi unapata umestep nje ya hiyo jela e, umestep nje kidogo unaelewa chenye anasema e, anaenda ku, 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 kumasajiwa igo nje Yaani unasema kama mwanamke hata masaji ge mwanaume wake mm. ita huyu mwanaume atapata mtu mwingine. Eh. Na the same kwa mwanamke pia. It happens. Ladies do you understand this is is this true? Do you believe that this is possible? Should a man's ego be always be massaged kama mtoto? Wengine wanasema ati wanaume ni kama watoto, ni kama watoto yes. dogo. You see uh, that massaging is what we call motivation. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <you're motivated. laughs> yes, a man needs to be motivated. Okay, this e massage you mentioned, Masana. Ebu to angeku isu e massage you mentioned. Iku iku massage ego manome. Ndoku fanya ni haswa. Iku massage ego manome ni kumu like kumu appreciate any time and make effort. Una mu appreciate like anzakuwa maybe hajafika level. Maybe maybe he's not doing much. Like in for the little he's doing, he's being appreciated. That is uh, now massaging his ego, and you, you know. Make them feel good. You compliment them. Yes, you compliment them, and as you do that, you propel them to do more, to improve. So if if he comes maybe with a packet of milk today, unamambia, hey, babe, leo mejaribu. Thank you for, thank you for doing that. Mm. Thank you for for the for the milk. Next time, akitaka yo compliment tena ata ata rudina now a whole Kitu bundle. Kubwa. Yes, that is how it is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uki masajiwa mm-hmm. ni mtu anakufanyia nini ndo feel kama wewe wewe mtu uh, for you personally. Mm-hmm. Ni mtu kama hata mimi sitaki uni massage. Yeah. Wakati nimekuja na Range Rover mm-hmm. ama nimekupea nyumba. Masaji yangu inakuanga tu. Nikikuita utaitika kama unaosha vyombo. Utaitika ukiosha ukigonganisha masahani <laughs> ama you will turn to me. Alafu uh-huh. itike. Uh-huh. When I'm communicating to you, ukikoroga njugu zimnafanya chirin 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 chirin. Will you leave njugu? To talk. Ukuje unisikilize. Ama utaendelea na njugu. Of course, mi naelewa. Ukiacha njugu zitaungua. But what will you do? How will you communicate to me? Ndiyo nijua kwamba njugu zitaungua. Okay, Mwanaume anataka ukimuita when you call a woman yes. she should respond and l- kama uko mbali akuje. Yes. She, she should come to me listen to what I'm talking about. I should not talk to a woman ana randa randa naenda anashika carted tarudi. <laughs> na mimi na pass message. Anawasha TV na mimi naongea. Yani so, I'm, I'm busy, that that means I'm talking nothing in that yes. house. Attention, the yes. respect and the attention. For example, maybe uh, as a man unafika home na pata maybe wife ako na wageni wake, they are just storing wako in the middle of a story. Hmm. A wise woman will post the story. Yes. Uh, help you, you know, welcome you back home. Akwambia bebu ko sawa. How was your day? Then akuwatch that that one is enough. Then akuache aende aendelee na story na 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 the, yes. the, the friends that in is fine in fact my mm-hmm. brother chenye amesema mm-hmm. hapa saa hizi tu ku pose story mm-hmm. na chenye nimesema yes anaosha sink mm-hmm. anaosha vyombo mm-hmm. awache chenye anafanya ama kama ni dangerous kukiwacha kuna response fulani yes. those two things eh watu wengi hawajui mm-hmm. wanawake hawajui hiyo kitu umiza wanaume mm-hmm. mwanaume anaweza nyamazia hiyo kitu but inamuuma yes they will never know is 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 an ego uh, also the reason why men beat their women yes it could be now when there is a crisis there are two things here mm. how you address a man when there's a problem mm. and the timing is very important. Hapa timing sasa. Ame 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 kuamsha za sita usiku. Eh eh. Sasa sita usiku bwana wangu kuna kitu tunanisumbua sana. Babe we must talk. We must talk now. The timing is very important. Like unaweza unaweza kuwa very right. A woman can be very right in whatever issue she wants to raise. But when she is wrong in timing, she is wrong. But Completely. only beat your woman. Si na kufanya wewe mwenyewe unaonekana ni kama wewe ni uh, you know you are weak. Sasa hapa kwa ku beat a woman with that one will not have personally I won't advocate for that. 
even though umemuita amesema niko busy ninapika umesema ninataka kuongea na wewe sasa hizi ah wacha kunisumbua <laughs> ikifika hapo sasa at least you will uh, have time and address the issue verbally tell her babe i don't like what you are doing like when i'm talking to you don't be too busy when I, when i'm addressing you maybe when when uh, uh, i'm calling you 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 address the issue with the lady akikata sasa akikata hapo father measure should be taken you know nini sasa you know father measure hii yenye unasema and smajoko uki ona mwanamke anapigwa na mwanaume shida huu ndio sasa the first thing ina kuhit kwa kwa kile yako utasema shida inaweza kuwa wapi hapa kwanza acha nirudi nyuma nimependa vile umesukuma huyu na maswali mpaka akakuacha na najibu father measures sifika mama wao fikishwa hapo kwa father measures hao haikwangi kupenda kwako brother eh unaweza kuwa mupole mupole eh but kuna mahali unafikishwa wangu ya yeah, father imagine measures. unafikishwa mahali hapo kwa father measures mtu wako wako hapa unamuona hivi na hajali hatambui yeye yuko hapo he unarusha anarusha unanyamaza yeye anaendelea bado anyamazi anaona ni matusi na unaheshimu huyu mtu hata constitution inasema fighting home based violence it's a crime ni mbaya mm-hmm. but ako hapa amekufikisha hapo kwa kwa father measures <laughs> <laughs> na ni wako ni msupu kwanza kukaribu ni msupu eh ah, okay. hey, <laughs> na hapo vile kwa father measures <laughs> very dangerous <laughs> Mm. And when you raise your voice she will say that you are shouting at you her. Are shouting. Yes. So w- how can this be solved? Um come on now because we, a man is the head of the family. Yes. Ni wewe unaweza amua hii relationship yako inaenda inaelekea njia gani? Wewe unaweza amua kama unataka amani ama hautaki amani. Ni ni nini mwanaume anafaa fanye ili afundishe bibi yake ya kwamba mimi this is what i like ile menu yako mimi napenda hii na sipendi hii mm-hmm. ndo aelewe no usifike hiyo level ya father measures what do you do pastor you talk things out uh, uh, i believe dialogue is very important either mm-hmm. in a relationship or in marriage dialogue how you talk how you know there are conflict resolution methods Mm-hmm. You na, the first one is you talk you sit her down maybe take her out maybe kama amezoea kwa nyumba take her out take her somewhere sit down address all the issues kama hasiki then i believe that is why you see every every relationship need needs mentors mm-hmm. now i'm talking from the pastor's point of view <laughs> from the pastor's point of view you <laughs> approach someone that you uh. feel can help you solve the issue in a relationship or even in marriage aid let me read some here uh, on on facebook aid esther nasema and also swali so what you are saying is that respect is the thing that motivates the man's ego see yes respect yes, respect. yes. And asema let me learn i love this i hope uh, though you will talk about how to treat a woman sometime in future okay <laughs> how to treat a woman pia kama unataka mwanamke akuheshimu ikifika yule level yenye mwanamke anakutusi does it mean you did something wrong to instigate her because as uh, one viewer said Emma mm-hmm. alisema you give her something small she multiplies it okay is it that ni wewe ndio ulifanya huyu mwanamke aanze kukutusi ambayo shida ni wewe you and your ego now that one now narrows down to intimidation You see uh, when a man fails in his responsibility as a man mm. like for example a woman is feeding you you see there are, there are common things a man should be doing like even from the bible a man is a provider that's right yes so when you fail in your in your responsibility you're just there the, it is the woman feeding you the woman anamka asubuhi ana prepare ana prepare wana watoto anawapeleka like a uh, uh, shule anaenda job anarudi kwa nyumba anakupata same state ah. You, you understand yes. so those are the things that you know that make a woman begin looking down on you as a man mm-hmm. when you fail in your hakuna mwanamke atamka tunaanza kutusi from nowhere Akuna. they are triggers yes unamuita na ka, ukimuita akatai kukuja si wewe mm-hmm. ulimfanya ukamtriga yeah. ukafika yes. yeye nyinyi unasema that point what do you call it that point of uh, father measures mm-hmm. <laughs> 
you pushed her mm. to take you to further measures yes na hivi ndio huwa tunawafanya wakuwe na hizo hasira mm. waanze kuchimbua chimbua vijineno yes. baadaye sasa shida ni ni yenu kama mwanaume sisi he, uchangia he. na wao hugadha mm-hmm. hizo issues mm-hmm. anaweza kugombanisha saa hizi kumbe ni kitu ulimfanyia last year <laughs> Yes. Eh. Hey. Like year, mimi okay. kwangu mimi who respond hapa hapa. Mm-hmm. Kwa kimisbehave hapa na respond hapa hapa tunamalizana. Mm-hmm. But yeye kivyake yeye hukusanya. Mm-hmm. Kusanya alafu atalipuka sasa. Mm-hmm. Eh. So solution in a fake way ni what should, is it that should, men should do so that they don't instigate or you know pressure their women to kwanza kufikira sana because a woman can be loyal mm-hmm. yes huh. a woman can be loyal mm-hmm. and you see we might run away from this fact but it is the reality money contributes to a woman's loyalty uh, loyalty <laughs> money contributes pesa. yes pesa without money are, are you saying that women are not loyal without money they can be loyal without money but you see there is a, a form of dishonor that comes from women when you are broke there is a, that's when you say ma when you find a woman that is feeding you every day last month this month mm. she, she is feeding you every day she is the one taking the responsibilities the roles of a man she has mm. now become the man mm. in the relationship you know it becomes trouble madharau inakuwa madharau sasa hawezi kusikiza hawezi yani even that is why the bible inasema the wisdom of a poor man is despised let me come to uh, to, to you baba yes. um there is um the issue of a woman telling you anakuja kuambia ti um nat, nataka hii lakini si sahizi so wewe utaweka plans useme okay i know she wants this but hataki si sasa hataki sahizi so you will postpone it another, another time atakuuliza mbona haukufanya alafu mwambie si ulisema ya kwamba hauitaki that time mfano wa pili unauliza mwanamke ungependa hii alafu she says no but deep down it means yes alafu baadaye kuulize si nilikuwa nataka hii alafu tamwambia si ulisema hapana so these two scenarios where um, uh, people now start engaging in arguments is it that men do not quite understand the communication strategies of women ambaye inafanya sasa unakuja unasikia ni kama amekuumiza ego yako kwa kukuombea kwamba wewe ni mwanaume wewe wewe you man who doesn't think you cannot think i should i and she ask you should i think for you inafai kweje in fact eh? unaona hiyo inaletwa kwa nini nitaenda opposite na na mtumishi wa Mungu hapa. Eh there is this thing inaitwa date. Okay. Sivi watu wa date sivi 3 years 4 years. Mm-hmm. Do you know dating ni kitu kingine tofauti na marriage? Mm-hmm. Did you know that? And dating will never contribute anything kwa marriage yako. Mm-hmm. Do you know why? Mm-hmm. Mimi na date to say my demo and it was patricia just using that name <laughs> patricia and i'm a date dating yes i need to pelekane cost to swim mm. to end as you wapi to jivinjari to kule pizza to jibambe mm. sawa that is dating sijui ni kununulia sweet maua and so on mm. and what we are communicating there it's not something that ya watu wenye wako married wana communicate mm-hmm. sasa usha mdate hiyo for years ingieni kwa nyumba smart joke na hii ni ukweli i had na hating mafuta unaona hizi chupa za mafuta ya liquid uh. ukishaweka kwa sufuria alafu urudisha ufunge na hati maf, mafuta ya kunyunya eh, uku na i had so natakanga ukisha wekelea kwa sufuria uh. panguza ingare Uh-huh. alafu uwekelee pale because ukiweka pale na mafuta 
inzi wale wa inzi wadogo wadudu na ukimwambia hiyo ataona ni kama yes mm-hmm. anakata mm-hmm. that thing to kidate tulikuwa na chupa ya mafuta <laughs> to kidate ni jibu tu tulikuwa na hiyo <laughs> so unaona kwa marriage vitu zenye zinatukosanisha uh, ni vitu kidogo vitu nane sense mm-hmm. kidogo colgate yes <laughs> <laughs> ya kubrush meno mimi sitakangi hii hii hi, toothbrush ikae hivi isimamishe mm-hmm. usidhani kwa marriages zetu ni vitu kubwa ati umekosa kuninunulia gari ebu try rectify for a woman something small yenye inamuumanga kwa nyumba rectify it rectify at least 10 things kwa nyumba alafu uone kama mtakaa hata mwezi mtakomba bibi yako akikwambia ya kwamba Babe nilikuwa nataka uninunulie hiki kitu na ukakosa kumnunulia. Mm. Wewe inaleta shida. Italeta shida. Italeta shida because ukiniambia ni kununulie mm-hmm. uka u, ukiniambia ni kununulie ukaniambia sio hiyo time. Mm. Na hauku niambia ni when. Mm-hmm. Mimi nikaacha so La- what? Lakini shida ni sometimes they, they say no. Mm. To mean yes. I think every man should understand the communication of his woman. Kuna yule mwanamke atakwambia tu ah like babe I like this dress hajakwambia mbaye. But yes, but that is how she's communicating. Bas utasema okay eh? you like the dress <laughs> it is a nice dress. It is it is so nice. I also like it. I love when the little my So until you understand your communication ya mwanamke especially mm. it, it varies mwanamke wako huwa na communicate aje like for example a woman can have an issue with you na hata kuambia she will expect you to you know to know that she has an issue with you by how she's behaving kuna mm. atakuja tu yani unaenda kwa jikoni kuosha kunawa mkono ako hapo pia ni kama nitafuta glass unaenda kwa, kwa, kwa you want to brush your teeth ako hapo pia ni kama nataka yani anataka sabuni sabuni hapo sabuni hapo around kuchukua homa yes to her ana communicate anakwambia kuna shida lazima we have to talk about we have but, to address this is that, are we too egotistical to notice such small things now that is where uh, men go they go overboard when it comes to ego I, when you understand your your woman you will you will understand her communications and i think uh, 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 problems begin in marriage or in dating when there is you know a uh, 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 communication inaanza ku kuwa na noma sasa wana hata kwa dating hakuna anga mm. problem <laughs> <laughs> mimi ni kidate ni sijana mwamutu hakuna eh. kitu nafanya hapo it is nothing eh. mimi ni na standing wima hakuna uh-huh. anga watu wenye wana date you are doing nonsense eh. yeah you are doing nothing <laughs> wacha nene na kudate eh. nyinyi guro eh fika wakati wa kuoa uh-huh. approach a lady uh-huh. if she is ready to get married to you oh, yeah, yeah. you are good to go uh-huh. lakini at dating <laughs> brother what to take what to waste pesa kwa dating uh-huh. you will never know how your lady communicates muki date uh-huh. you will only know that person when you are married uh-huh. why is it that what to date seven years alafu kwa marriage wanakaa one month wana break mm-hmm. kwa nini communication ni tofauti mkiwa wawili kwa nyumba mko mm. na watoto hapo wanawaangalia communication ni tofauti so una sema mabadiliko ma, ma, wanaume wanafaa waache when you are ready to marry look for a woman propose marry bas ni juana kama mko ndani mkiwa ndani eh nilikuwa nikupea mfano wa serikali but waacha <laughs> Waja tuache hapo. <laughs> Tuachie tu hapo. Unajua mimi na kuanga mtu wa parables. Kuna yeah. parables. Eh, yeah. kuna watu wako kwa serikali. Eh, yeah. wali dead for long. Eh. Yeah. Alafu wakaingia kwa serikali ndani. Wame divorce. Sasa, <laughs> let, let, let me give another, another example about yeah. about this ego issue. Yeah. When a man makes a mistake, um tsemu ulifanya makosa leo yeah. and then uh, two months, three months, one year down the line, bado unakumbushwa hiyo makosa. Um, is it a wrong move that can affect a man's ego? Yes, because uh, most men don't like repeating themselves. If I did something wrong and I apologize I say I'm sorry. Mm. I wouldn't want you to remind me two months after. You remember you did this one. You remember oh no. Wanaume wengi hawapendi kujirudia. 
nikisema beb nilikosa maybe maybe i did something mm. but i'm sorry i i apologize but men don't apologize they can't say i am sorry <laughs> where ni wewe tu nimesikia ai is there a woman also there who has this problem that mwanaume has to apologize Smajoka amesema amesikia kutoka kwa mtu. Unaisikia that men just can't apologize. Kusema tu I am sorry ni shida. Unasema wanaume wanasema sorry. Kwanza mimi nasemanga sorry sana. Eh I must do that. Because I love this woman ni wangu. Oh oh do you normally apologize? Yes I do. I apologize. Kwanza mara moja sana hata kumliko yeye. I think the maturity of a man or not just a man any individual is a ku recognize amefanya makosa na ku apologize and, and you see that is what hiyo ndio kitu imefanya hata in the workplace many people you know are sacked get sacked just because they couldn't say i'm sorry mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and and to me that is pride and arrogance mm-hmm. but any normal human being must learn the art of apologizing and yeah. say i'm sorry yeah yes hey, in short ego yako inafai kufikisha mahali pa hmm. mimi na ego yangu nimekosa <laughs> Bebe pole yake pole. I'm very sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 you yeah, are yeah. so meaningful kwa maisha yangu. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, how should you apologize? Because utaendea msichana, umwambie that I'm sorry, alafu uh, uh, akatae, asema that's not an apology. Is there a way that a man needs to apologize that can make a woman say that this man hajaweka ego yake mbele? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> kuna kuna pia hizo. <coughs> degree za ku apologize mm-hmm. kuna mtu ana apologize ingi na msha ah pole ni nini wewe pole basi <laughs> eh pole basi <laughs> sio nimesema pole eh, eh. eh. kuna vile unaanza anza anza tu story eh, eh. Hey, hey. kuna vile penye nimeguza my wife eh si kwa na hiyo intention eh si kwa na hiyo intention sikiliza tu eh, wewe ni mtu fulani kwa maisha yangu mwenye watu wengine hawana huko nje Hmm. ni wewe tu wangu hmm. i think chanya nimekufanyia hey, ni vibaya hmm. i'm sorry unaona hiyo atakubali eh hey, unarudi chini unasema kurudi chini ya matao yani kunyenyekea hmm. umenipata hmm. hey, kumheshimu lakini shida ni yes ukishafanya makosa and then you repeat that same mistake okay. over and over again For example cheating you cheated before you apologized for it for it you got forgiven you are forgiven you cheated again you apologize again you are forgiven do you expect that she will believe you when next you make a mistake and then you say i'm sorry anasema i'm tired of your sorries lakini mwanaume bado ana shida akirudia makosa ile ile i think uh, true apology ah ni ku apologize for a mistake done and striving the best you can not to repeat the same mistake again mm-hmm. yes so when you say i'm sorry and maybe the phone after one week we may the same same mistake after i think yours is, will, be, will be a special case yes mm. and also kipato unafanya kosa kwa mfano hiyo ya cheating mm. ume cheat leo ume notisiwa umeomba msamaha umesamehewa mm-hmm then ukashindwa ku, kushikilia hiyo kucheat ukarudia kucheat tena mm-hmm. wewe wa kucheat ndio wa makosa yeah. hukuambia bibi yako ya kwamba wewe unafaa uoe mabibi wewe <laughs> <laughs> i think unaona so. <laughs> eh, mukiwa mnajuana <laughs> kwa hiyo period yenu ya 7 years yeah. ungeambia wa demu yako mimi ni mtu upenda mademu yeah. leo si niko na wewe hapa jana nilipeleka mwingine hoteli nyingine yeah. just say the truth yeah. ndio mkifika kwa ndoa ndani kama umeenda kujit usi apologize tulienda kujit umwambie tu ah leo nilikuwa kwa bibi mwenza <laughs> na hivi ndio ile happen yes yes you know uh, someone said uh, ah. someone said that if you have a, a special interest in school girls buy your wife a school uniform <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I think I read such a comment somewhere on social media. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me let's bring up an, uh, a comment here. Aidi Esther, a Facebook. I think my my Timo, you let up you. Is it coming up? Uh huh. Um, I think couples should take their time to know each other well. Hapo, you will understand each other well and communication will be easy. Anadanganya. Anadanganya? Anadanganya. Kwa nini unasema anadanganya? Oh, so nime wabi hapa. What do you usually do when you are two dating? Nitofauti na mukicha ingia kwa marriage. Ask that person if he... he is married. Muulize ni nini chenye anaona kwa hiyo ndoa yake? Wewe anaitwa Esther. Eh, ni ni msichana. Mm. Muulize kama ameolewa. Ni nini chenye anaona kwa hiyo ndoa yake? Mm. Chenye aliwaiona. Copy paste ya wakidate ni nini? Different. Mimi nakwambia. Both of you are, are, are about what, what he has said. Mambo ya dating anasema watu waache. <laughs> Wacha dating enda ndoa. Mm. Mjuane ndani. Bas. Hapo ndo kama mwanaume unaona kama ako na ego mm. uipapase kama mkundani. Bas. Your think, advice. I think that is the gospel according to Smart Joker. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I feel like dating plays an important role in uh, in relationships and in marriage. Because well, you can never know someone enough. Mm. Just the same way people don't know themselves enough. Mm -hmm. So you can never, no matter, even if you spend 10 years dating someone, how is it enough? There is something that will always just rise up after marriage. Especially when women, you know, Akshia, maybe Akshia Zant, Moja, mm -hmm. now they feel the sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. There is now that character that has, has been hiding for many years that will now come out. Right. Let me still give uh, this other example about um, uh, men particularly. You, you are in a position where um, you tell your man you are wrong. Okay. Is it bad to tell your man that he is wrong? Hapo nifanya makosa. Hapa nimekata. Ye bado haoni. Does it bruise their ego? kuambiwa kwamba hao wamefanya makosa that they are wrong yes it, it, it actually messes up their ego but should it, it be so if if you were to tell a man he's wrong i think there is a better way to put it you tell him babe i didn't like how you did this this and this hmm. like just being direct you are wrong that one you are wrong mm -hmm. it, it becomes you know it uh, it it will bruise his ego there's a way you can put it that will at accept mwenyewe. It, it won't mess up the man in him. Hmm. Yes. Ugependa ukiambua kwamba wewe umefanya makosa ya kwamba wewe amekukosoa, amesema this is wrong, sitaki kuona hii tena. And that is why huyu mm -hmm. akifafanua ego ni nini? Mm. Alisema kila mtu ako na ego yake. Mm. Mimi ego yangu ina allow mm. wife yangu aniambie eh <laughs> uh -huh. Baba Kezia ulikuwa wrong mm. hapa mm. na sitaki ufanye hivi. Yes. And yeah. I will listen to her. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini ni msikilize? Mm. Wakati amesema niko wrong, mm. nimejua vizuri I was wrong. Ah, yes. Give another example. Mm. Salary. Okay. Mwanamke wako anakuambia you've told her that uh, this is the amount of money that I earn and uh, bado anasema hapana. Mwanaume mzuri enda utafute kazi ingine, utafuta kazi, leta pesa mzuri kwa nyumba. When she mocks you about how much you earn, when she tells you that you are not earning enough that can sustain the family, when she discredits the kind of job you do, anasema hui kazi unafanya ni mpovu sana, afadhali ata wende nyumbani, tuende tulime. Hapu unafanya. Hizo sasa ni zile characters ya nyezine image. Yes. Ukiwa kwa marriage. Toto wako wa watatu. Yes. Hey, sasa unadeal na ayo ukiwa ndani. Yes. Hey. Hey, una... Hizo hawezi jua kama mnadate. Hey, hawezi jua. Mkidate muko na watoto wapi. Mkidate mm -hmm. usimuna pikiwa pizza. Hamupiki wenyewe. <laughs> Haujui level ya upishi wake. That is why I will just take you back to. Hey. Mambo na kudate wachana na ayo. <laughs> Ingieni ndani. 
kwa huo uwanja e. kila mtu acheze position yake mm -hmm. maisha isonge mbele mambo na mshahara e. si tumeona mm -hmm. tukikuja hivi kama one week two weeks two months tunajuana nimeenda kwenu nini ambia neni ukweli vile nilisema hapo awali mm -hmm. mimi na aningi hii nafanya mjengo ama mimi na CEO napatanga hii pesa kiwango hiki mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unanona. Na hiki kiwango ndio chenye naenda nacho. Utavumilia tukae na wewe na hiki kiwango cha pesa. Mm -hmm. Natulishe nacho watoto. Tu invest na, na hizi pesa ama hautakubali. Kama haukubali mm -hmm. pevu mm -hmm. Nitafute mwingine ambaye atakubali. Mwenye atakubaliana na mimi. Remember you are telling someone mwenye mmekaa naye one month, two months, three months kujuana. Mm -hmm. Sio mtu mwenye mmedate seven years. <laughs> so that he muda mfupi inamwambia ah after all tumekaa two months. Nikipev wewe ni mwachie nafasi sitakuwa hurt. If if uh, if 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 you if you with a woman and then Let's say I just give an example. She makes this comment. You tell him, Anakuliza, how much do you earn? Mambie, um, I earn, let me give um, an example, 30,000 shillings per month. Okay. I don't think you're earning enough. Nimbaya. Uh -huh. Now, uh, <coughs> you see, the first thing God gave a man was his work. That is why the first uh, the, the most dangerous uh, 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 place to crash in a man's life uh -huh. his work yeah. what he does for a living babu mwanamke alipewa mwanamme mwanamme alipewa kitu ya kwanza alipewa ni kazi so when you mess up his work you mess up his ego you you finish the man so it is sio sio mbaya kusema i think 30000 is not enough but you know appreciate the 30000 as we trust god for a salary increment or a better job. All right. Yes. Uh, um, let me go to Facebook. Favor Violet. And Sema, what advice can you give to a woman whose husband always makes mistakes, but he will never apologize to her? Um, Violet from Kayole. I am going to I am going to si uko kwa marriage ndani mm -hmm. i thank god ameongea akiwa kwa marriage mm -hmm. e, kwa Kiswahili unajua mimi ukuwa mjukuu wa wahenga mm -hmm. na semanga maji ukishayavulia unabudi kuyaoga mm -hmm. hayo ni maji yako oga nayo ulishayavulia nguo yaoge vizuri but anataka msaidie nini usaidizi mm -hmm. i have man, assisted her <laughs> Nimemwambia amvumilie mm. hiyo ni weakness ya bwana yake. Okay, okay. Aendelee nayo, eh? Sa, sa. Yes. Ah. Time time imeisha, my brothers. <laughs> yeah. Time imeisha. Uh, but uh, I want to say thank you so much Sam Ad Adeline and Samantha Tuni from Westlands Mwalimu Amwosha Amara and Sam following the show. Um uh, f uh Louise Molly and Sam tuned in. Wow, so many comments there. We cannot e bado atujamalizia vizuri mm -hmm. bado <laughs> bado because we still have not talked talk, talk about kama uh, mwanaume aki anaweza kubaliwa kwenda nje na rudi usiku akichelewa yeah. umwambie wewe ni mwanaume na gadi <laughs> <laughs> This has been part of show. Remember the conversation continues. Today so it was all about a man's ego from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. I was with Sama Fuller and I was with also Smart Joker. A very good morning to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. That was, that's what brings us to the end of this conversation today. Uh, I would like to end with a quote saying, When a man can listen to a woman's feelings without getting angry and frustrated, he gives her a wonderful gift. He makes it safe for her to express herself. The more she is able to express herself, the more she feels heard and understood. And the more she is able to give a man the loving trust, acceptance, appreciation, admiration, approval, and encouragement that he needs. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk. A repeat of this conversation of this show comes tonight at 10 p.m. God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. This is Power Talk.